Stranger Things will end after the fifth season, but the universe of Stranger Things is not going to end anytime soon because the Duffer Brothers have actually planned for a spin-off series related to this world of Stranger Things. But here's the thing, they have actually told us about which characters are not going to get their spin-offs. None of the major characters will actually have their spin-offs and we do know what that story might be. So the thing is, in this video, we'll look at two different interviews. One consists of the Duffer Brothers interview and one consists of Finn Wolfhard who plays Mike Wheeler. So his interview and the Duffer Brothers interview, these both separate interviews. So we'll observe these two interviews and we'll make a calculated guess about what the story is going to be. And it's pretty obvious, I'm telling you. So first off, let's look at which characters the Duffer Brothers said that their story will actually end after the fifth season. Like these four characters, their story is officially going to end up after the fifth season but that doesn't mean that they'll die they have not said that they just said that these four characters story is going to end after the fifth season and those four characters are l11 obviously hopper dustin and lucas and the biggest thing that i have about these four names is about dustin i don't want dustin's story to end i just want i mean he is one of my favorite characters and i've actually made a very cool video about the best moments of dustin 10 best moments of dustin you can check that video out here but anyways let's look at those two videos and those two observations that i was talking about so according to this video and this video came out in the year 2022 in the month of july after the premiere of the fourth season and here duffer brothers said that yes there are going to be spin-offs and they were not actually going to reveal what the story of the spin-offs going to be but they said actually no one knows about the spin-offs but Finn Wolfhard actually guessed the story of the spin-offs or at least the idea of the spin-offs and they also said Finn Wolfhard was not even trying to tell the story he was just you know he just came out of the blue and just said it like if you're going to make a spin-off you can do this and the Duffer Brothers were like <laughs> who told you that was the idea and now let's look at this interview in this interview Finn Wolfhard actually narrates this entire story and the main thing about this video was that the thing that he thought about the spin-off he actually revealed that and he said what if the Duffer Brothers do something like this that they call us after 20 years and we are all fat and old and that's going to be the spin-off so he just said that and the Duffer Brothers were like who told you? And we talk with you for a second. So basically, the Duffer Brothers actually confirmed to Finn Wolfhard that yeah, that is going to be the story of the spin-offs that we are going to get. But now let's focus on this story. 20 years after the events of the fifth season, every our cast members, at least the kids gang are in their 30s. That means Mike, Will, they are in their 30s. And you know, the older set of kids, that means Nancy, Steve, Jonathan, they are in their 40s, maybe in their early 40s or very late 30s. But now, does that seem exciting? I mean, yeah, 20 years after the events, it does seem like a cool idea that they're all going through kind of their midlife crisis, but you know, those things. Now they have their own family, they have their kids and all those things. But does that sound interesting? I guess no, but wait till you hear my theory. My theory is, you do that, the 20 years later thing, and just add the entire aftermath of the fifth season in which probably the world, the entire world, not just Hawkins, the entire world is now exposed to the phenomena called as Upside Down and they have to live in that kind of dystopian future-ish thing where everything is different now and you know, you just have to live with that. And probably Mike has a memorial in the name of Eleven. And now there are more superheroes. I mean, people with super mind abilities and all those things like Eleven. It means after 20 years post the events that happen in the fifth season, we have this world, which is kind of a dystopian in nature. The entire world is coexisting with a different world. That means the upside down. Now there are super people who are living amongst the normal people and all those things. Now that, that sounds pretty interesting. And actually I need a bit of your help because I am working on a separate video in which I am listing down all the characters who can have their own spin-offs and what those spin-offs could look like for example the first thing that i thought about was the spin-off consisting of steve and robin who are you know best friends they might be living together in a big city like new york and something like that miles away from hawkins and the horror of hawkins and now they're trying to you know live this life they're struggling with their college their career and all those stuff obviously about their dating life so i've just thought about that but the thing i need from you is to go down in the comment section and please suggest me some of your ideas about possible spin-offs of the Stranger Things characters. So please help me out to do that and I'll also give you a shout out in that video. So yeah, you can check out this playlist on my channel where I have discussed everything about the fifth season, about the filming updates on it and as always, thank you so much for watching.